Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Scholomans Academy has brought a number of interesting cards for Priest and I had a lot of success playing with them with this Galagrond Thief Priest list that I built. So the idea here is to still use Priest's Galagrond, very powerful card, it can be hard removal for multiple targets, allows you to get infinite resources with all those priest minions, and also to basically steal everything from your opponent. In the early meta that we're seeing, we're seeing druids, we're seeing paladins, we're seeing a lot of buffed up minions, and big minions are the ideal targets for stealing, of course. So there's the Way of Apathy, Cabal Acolyte combo in this deck, Cabal Acolyte and play Way of Apathy. If there's only one minion on the board, that minion will have one attack, and it will be stolen by the Cabal Acolyte, no matter how big it is. And then there's Headmaster Keltusard with a bunch of hard removal, including stuff like Shadow Word Death and Shadow Word Ruin. So Keltusard, Shadow Word Ruin against a number of big minions and boom, they all die and they all respawn on your side of the board. Just really, really great stuff. Tons of removal, playing Galagrond Priest as usual with addition of stealing. And then there's also Mind Render Illusia. Some people are playing this sort of spell damage focused OTK combo mage. Well, if you play Mind Render Illusia, you can steal their Mosaki and play it, and then they won't have the combo, and boom, you win. Granted, those OTK decks might be too small portion of the meta to really justify running Illusia, but hey, it's a fun new card, so I figured I would give it a try, and it does shore up some of the potential weaknesses of the archetype. Basically, the archetype doesn't have that many weaknesses left after that, because you can steal the big stuff, you can deny combos, you have a lot of defensive and healing tools to fight against aggression, Sure, you can still lose to aggro, you can still lose to combo, you don't always draw Illusia before they are able to assemble their pieces, but this seems like a very well-rounded and powerful deck right now, and super frustrating to play against. Which I guess is not a great thing, but yeah. As for the mulligans with this deck, you're typically looking for your early game pieces, Disciple of Galagrond to get on board on one, Renew, Penance, that sort of stuff, just early removal, bit of early minions. Of course, if you know that you're against a combo deck, then you want Mind Render Illusia. And if you're up against something that has really big stuff, then Deaths and even Acolyte Wave of Apathy could be considered as a keep. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notifications when new videos come. I also stream live on Twitch six days a week, so check down below for a link to my Twitch channel. And now, let's go take a look at Galagrond Thief Priest in action. I might just keep this against the Paladin, right? Finally, imagine Makkara minion eaten by Carnivorous Cube minion. Hmm. I challenge you to Makkara. That, that's my favorite voice line ever. I mean, the reason it's my favorite voice line is totally like nonsensical because it just sounds like a Finnish word it, it isn't really that's not that's not at all what it says and I know that this is so fun well I can't kill that one so we'll chill do maybe have the druid list you played only I could drop like fate fever for tempo I suppose it could be interesting, even without the invoke effect. But we'll see how long it goes before I can I can play this game through. I don't particularly mind that the Tung gets Divine Shield back. Because if it's buffed I can just kill it. Well, this didn't go quite as well as I had hoped it would. I mean I could rip that and I could trade. It's not a terrible idea. Wonder. I still have the death left afterwards. And I reduce the number of minions the Paladin has on the board a little. It's not terrible at all. I would just hate spending the death, though. Oh boy! That was an early Librum of Hope. One more turn to steal that. I want to steal it. I really do. 
So I'm just going to play this taunt minion here. I'm going to play renew on my face. For more renews. And next turn, Headmaster Akeldusad will come to kill something. But what is it going to kill? Hmm, I think a bit of damage. Unfortunate. I need to kill that one. And he didn't do that one a little bit. Take, to, take away the Divine Shield. Paladin has only three cards in hand. And now I have this Divine Shield Taunt minion on the way. Sure, Paladin can kill it. But can Paladin get true? That gives Paladin... Two Librams of Wisdom. That cost zero and could be used on the 9-7, but are not. Intriguing. Then there is the Librum of Hope as well, and the Blessing of Kings. Uh, I would need a spell to reduce the health to the attack of this minion. Alternatively, I'll just Soul Mirror, and then kill it off with the Headmaster Keldusad. Let's see if I can find a way with Apathy. But I do find some other things. It has to be the Forbidden Words, right? I guess it has to be the Forbidden Words. Silence was also an option. Because if there's like a Libra of Hope here, I can get if this one isn't killed, then Soul Mirror can handle it. Well... What is this one going to be? So no Librum of Hope yet. That one helps the priest a lot. Doesn't it? No wave of apathy. Not enough mana to play Breath of the Infinite and the Soul Mirror. Killing that may result in me dying as well. This looks a little bit bleak. I was hoping to find at least one wave of apathy to steal stuff at some point. But that hasn't happened. I will have to simply Soul Mirror here. And then heal my face. But now there might be lethal, right? It's possible. There's a Librum of Hope. What are the other cards? No, these are one cost minions. Librum of Hope, one cost minions and one other card. That's not lethal. That is not lethal. So get to fight a little bit more. But maybe not enough. Well, that Shadow Word Ruin does kill this one, this one, this one, also this one. Spell Burst happens after the spell. So I can trade there first. Then I can play the Cabal Acolyte. Your mind is not so and then I can play the Shadow Word Ruin. Actually, we didn't even have to do that. Stealing that wasn't even necessary. Sorry, I have lethal anyway. That wasn't even necessary. I just thought that. I just first thought that I'm going to ensure that there will be no minions left on the board. 
Although I guess it's not miles apart either. There are similarities. Up against the shaman. Intriguing. What kind of shaman are we talking about? Mmm, bonus Morazons. Well, if Shaman is just going to pew 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 my face, Morazon isn't exactly the exactly the tool. It is just pew pew pews my face even more. Spell damage Shaman, so damage will be coming. Wombat Ringo. Hi. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate the support. That's awesome. Spell damage. Coming right up. Well, that wasn't particularly powerful. I suppose I will kill them. Because I'm slightly concerned about potential buffs. And spell pop binder. Splendid. So I could take the Talnos. I am very, very interested in taking the Talnos, removing the spell damage and the card draw. The downside is that it costs me a coin. Your mind is not your I'm taking the Talnos. Dance, puppet, dance. Dance, Muppet, dance. MTG, my Twitch really likes you because they put an ad before your stream every time. There is a way, MTG, my, to get rid of that ad. All you need to do is click the subscribe button, and for the lowly price of 4 dollars per month, you're able to watch this priest gameplay. For a good night's sleep, every single day. How about that? What was once your golden Talnos is now my golden Talnos. How about that? Mm -hmm, not bad, not bad. Getting some card draw. That's relatively sweet, I suppose. Ah, oh, I would be able to wipe these minions off the face of this earth. And I suppose I do want to do that. Let's just do it. Get rid of the spellbook binders. Now I don't have a great way to get rid of another Molten Blast. On the other hand, this Shaman is not exactly drawing very quickly. A Sorcerer Substitute. How dreadful. I believe I am forced to just... Should I work throwing those away? Alright. So far so good. We're slowly but surely killing this shaman out of boredom. Although there might be like six burn spells in hand. So pew 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 can still happen. Hey. Thanks MTG might. Yeah, something is never necessary. I mean, obviously I appreciate the support. I do this full time. Buying food depends on this for me, but there are so many ways to support the channel without paying a cent that no one should really worry about it. Is that minion interesting enough to rip? I mean, there's plenty of spell damage, so that one is going to start attacking. But eventually there will also be the five sevens that I'm a little scared of. I mean, with Talnos here I have the option to penance that. Let's throw Talnos over there first. See a little bit what I can pick up. That was not a bad card either. I'll just rip that. Trip that away. Keep healing up this taunt minion. I mean, this taunt minion has really done a lot of work here. Wombat Ringo gifted a sub. <laughs> Thanks, Wombat Ringo. I appreciate that. Well, that 
That caught me by surprise. So I might die now. That would be unpleasant. Alright, I was caught by surprise by the randomness. Once again. So, first I need to check if I can find a minion that kills minions. Let us see about that. Nope, that does not kill other minions. Then I will need to draw my Galagrand for the off chance that the Maligos does not provide the Shaman with lethal. And I suppose I will reduce the Maligos's attack to 1 to reduce the incoming damage a little bit. So does the Shaman have 28 damage with spells? Plus 5 for each spell. Up to 4 spells available. Or how many minions can the Shaman get on this board? Because I can kill 1 minion with the Penance, and then I can kill 2 minions with the Galagrand. Even if the board dies. And there's no AoE in that deck, so... Now the Shaman is calculating. Is it 4 Lightning Bolts? Well, they can't be four lightning bolts exactly, but like lava burst, lava burst, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Is it all burn that's there? Even after becoming Galagrond, there's still a chance for me to lose. An additional spell damage. Additional spell damage. And there is lava burst. And a lightning bolt. And a chance that I will die next turn. Do I need to penance this turn? Going to 11, how safe is 11? 11 is relatively safe. Spell damage minions were played. I believe 11 is safe enough. Then I have the penance for next turn and I can get this lifesteal minion on the board. So that also needs to be handled. So I need to pick up Galagrand. I'll go to 11 health and I will kill the Maligos. I can play the Dragon Maw Sentinel to have a lifesteal minion on this board. I'm at 11 and the Shaman has 3 cards. So all would have to be burn. So far so good. Got the silence to deny healing. Fine. I have two copies of Apotheosis in the deck as well, if I can find them. I will probably need to use the Penance here. So if I play Fate Weaver, then I can do Penance and the Shield of Galagrond. Put the Shaman down to 12. I will go a little bit higher. I have 8 damage, I would need another 10. I can't get another 10 here. So that's the Fate Weaver. And then I'll do the Shield of Galagrond. I get a Taunt minion on the way. For any weapons or something like that. I can Penance there. And trade with these. So that I can push 6 to the face. So I go to 14. Shaman is at 12. And there's Lethal on board. So if Shaman doesn't have Lethal, Shaman has to deal with the minions on the board. Which will further reduce Shaman's chances of winning. And then I have Madame Lazul to pick up a spell from the Shaman to potentially finish the game. Maybe. Maybe I should have just mulliganed it away, look for removal. Maybe I needed more removal. That's totally possible too. Maybe I need a bit more removal there. Alright. So, Druid. Probably need a little bit more removal. Now yeah, the Spinances are useless. Should have, should have Maligand a little harder. Shisan redeems the deck. Alright, after this game we're going to take a look at that one. And see what we can do. Oh boy, things are happening a little bit too quickly. I can't steal that yet. I can only steal that next turn. 
That's tough. Druid gets to draw cards. I could also like double penance it. Just to get rid of it. Because Druid's not really doing much this turn. That saves the coin and the steel for later. Yeah, that could be important. I think this is just double penance. One invoke on the from here. How good is Druid's turn now? Is there another lightning bloom? Is that worth stealing? I guess it's another question. Your mind is not so Let's say it's worth stealing anyway. I'll take it. Dance, puppet. Dance. Let's grab it. Maybe I can get like enough invokes on the Galagron to destroy upcoming minions. Depends on whether there's the whether there is the spell now. And it is. Ouch. On the other hand, if that attacks, it does mean that I will be able to kill it. Probably. At six mana druid cannot. Druid have to have another innervate or lightning bloom. To get somewhere here. Another innervate or lightning bloom. That wasn't available. Sweet. This draws one health minions. I don't have any one health minions. Unfortunately, no. If I don't invoke the Galagrond, I could get a Karj. That would be a copy of the Twilight Runner. And I could get a Madame Lazul to get something from the Druid's hand. Perhaps that is acceptable. Okay, the Sunstrider is there. How about that? Next turn, things will start happening. Fine. Need to kill that one. But next turn, things will start to happen. I have a death here, so I can kill the Kael'thas after it's buffed. But how many other minions are going to arrive? That's the big question. Is there going to be another Guardian Animals? If there won't be another Guardian Animals, then it's not a huge problem. Simply survival of the fittest. There has to be also the Guardian Animals. Is there also Guardian Animals? Overflow would do, I guess. Overflow would be pretty sweet. There's the Overflow. Well, now there can be Guardian Animals too. Although I have seen four of the beasts already. So it's mostly just Usera and the portals that remain. Those will of course start to come starting from next turn. Another wave of apathy. Because that means that I could... Which one would I like to steal? I don't really benefit from Kael'thas, right? I benefit more from the Taunt. There's Usera left, there's a Teacher's Pet left. And that should pretty much be it. So I'll death the Kael'thas. And I will steal the Mana Saber. So there's one iron bark left, so there can be a huge Usera. There's one lightning bloom left. Other than that, there's not an immediate way to draw. So I can destroy the Usera 
and go face for 13 here. There is an overflow left, so the portals will come rather quickly. And then I'll have to work with renew and stuff to get through those. Do I want to kill this one off so that I can get more card draw? So that I can get to Soul Mirror? Yeah, I want to kill this off to get the Twilight Runner out of it. This one goes there so that I get the Twilight Runner. And then it's the Galag Runt. And I will also spend a coin now to start rolling Galagrunt minions. I didn't... Ah, uh, I have to... Sorry. Didn't need to spend the coin, of course. Because I had the Mana Saber. Well, regardless. There is one... One Iron Bark left. There is an Overflow left. There is a survival of the fittest left, probably. We must stop this corruption. There's probably a survival of the fittest somewhere there. Hello, so I will need to grab that one, right? Attack with these kills this one. This goes down to 4 health. Because there's another survival of the fittest, I have to be wary of that. Yeah, that one goes there. Draw some cards. Well, now there's a Kronks. 5 damage to all of these. That clears up most of the board. That clears up all of the board. I can bog beam there, I can roll here, I can play the disciple and I can go face. If I had enough time I would have also been able to heal this to 10 health. That probably was important. But I missed that one now. Another 8-12 Emerald Explorer. Alright. I have seen both bulk beams though, so it's unlikely that this actually is going to be killed immediately. Iron bug, fine, fine. Kill to Sard, but nothing to kill the minions with. Well, we'll renew now and check what I can pick up. I guess I can do that. So then it's a Breath of the Infinite. This one goes there. Then I'll play the Kel to Sud. Level Hole is my that. And then I'll trade away that. And this one goes face. So we do it like this. Four portals left in the deck. One Bronze Dragon, one Random Dragon, one Random Legendary in hand. No Bog Beams left. Not, there's, a, there's one Teacher's Pet. But it's probably in hand and not available for Guardian Animals anyway. Okay. No Iron Box left, so... No way to get more Taunts after that. Kargath, killing my 8-2. And the crystal power to kill that. Not bad. Kargath Prime in the deck. Oh dear, oh dear. I have to spend everything just to kill the teacher's pet. Do I sacrifice this, or do I leave this alive at 3 health? It has 6 attack. No, this is the line. 
Give it three health. Give it apotheosis. Use that to go there. Use, use this to go there. Then there's the tree drop. And the tree drop is a King Mukla. Tree drop is a King Mukla. It can actually kill the 6-6. Six, six. Oh. With the help of another crystal power. Or if the Kagat Prime is drawn. No. The tree drop was a King Mukla. Why? Why did it have to be king? There's still four portals left, and there's a Kargat Prime. I can't target that with spells. And I don't have waves of apathy left. All I have is the ruin. And the soul mirror. Soul mirror is still one off. I can't go with the soul mirror yet. But I can try to find it. That I can do. I can definitely try to find it. There's the ruin. I will need the ruin. Okay. Four portals and a Kargat Prime. Small portal. Medium, well, pretty small portal. Two more portals in those four cards. And there's probably one survival of the fittest left. And there's the Kargat Prime. I can steal the life steal minion. Now I can't guarantee the steal. Now I can no longer guarantee the steal. There's going to be a survival of the fittest, which can buff these into five sixes. But if I don't kill the board, I think I have to steal a random minion. I think I had to steal random minion. If I didn't if I didn't use the hero power, then I would have had the option to steal exactly this one with the Cabal Shadow Priest. Because there's gonna be a survival of the fittest left. I need to find Soul Mirror. To survive that. Right. If I don't pick up the soul mirror next, I will just lose. Is time rip enough? Or renew? Sort of. Ouch, ouch. That's the soul mirror. That is the exact card that I needed. So I'll play this. And everything on board will die except for this one, and I can trade it away. Do I want the discounts first? I do. What about? First the discounts. Then the soul mirror. Then the trade there. And then one card from the opponent's deck. 50-50 either portal or something. Oh, it's going to be a 9-mana dream portal. So dream portal is the last card. There's a 4-4 dragon in hand. Now that's an 8-8 dragon now. 
It has been buffed by one copy of Survival of the Fittest. And then that will be everything for the Druid. That's an 8-8, that dragon. But the Druid will want to kill this one first, so the Druid can't actually play it now. All that playing and then I had a 10% chance to win in the end. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.